12 days of Christmas and 12 signs of Jesus. Sign number four was Jacob's dream of the ladder ascending and descending into heaven, a sign of Jesus in the Old Testament. Let's find out and let's go bold. I'm Scott Patton. Thank you all for joining us today for the Go Bow Podcast. And consider hitting that like and subscribe button on our YouTube channel. We sure appreciate it. We'd also appreciate a comment. Uh, It really helps us with our YouTube algorithms. I just want to thank everybody for the support. Uh, that we've had for this uh, this this wonderful uh, podcast that we're doing on the 12 signs of Jesus and the 12 days of Christmas. And today we're going to discuss sign number four. Now, here's the deal. Was Jacob's ladder ascending and descending into, into heaven a sign of Jesus in the Old Testament? That's the question today. Now, you remember several podcasts ago, we discussed a time that Jacob and a man Uh, And that man, uh, Jacob, would claim to be God, did the all-night MMA MMA, uh, wrestling smackdown in the desert. But before that smackdown, Jacob had a dream, and it was interpreted and called Jacob's Ladder. Now, if you go and see this in the book of Genesis, and specifically chapter 28, you see there, Jacob is sleeping his head on a rock, and he's having this dream. So I'm going to read God's word here, and we're going to pick up the story there. In Genesis 28, 20, 12, uh, then he dreamed, and behold, a ladder was set up on the earth, and on the top reached to heaven, and there the angels of God were des- ascending and descending on it. Now, this story in Genesis, I'll just tell you folks, the dream of the ladder with the angels and, and um, uh, ascending and, and descending was life-changing for Jacob, okay? It was life-changing for him. And you remember in the first story we talked about where he was, you know, the, the, uh, the whole issue with Esau and his brother, and he was basically a liar, but this changes Jacob's life forever. Now, later he says he encountered God there, and this is what we were talking about in the previous podcast about Jacob's wrestling match and the story of wrestling with God or some claim as to be as Jesus. Now, here's what is so fascinating about this sign of Jesus that we see here in the book of Genesis. You may uh, not believe me, but if I told you this, a sign of Jesus would be Uh, You may not believe me, but you might believe Jesus. Yeah, I think you would if he talked about it. You recall in the story of Jesus and Nathanael, when Jesus answered Nathanael, he said unto him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. And Jesus answered, he said something fascinating. He said, because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree. Do you believe you will see greater things than thee. Now, I want you to look at John chapter 3, verse 51, and you see there on the screen, and you see that beautiful picture of Jesus ascending uh, into heaven out of the tomb on the stairs of ladders. Now, in, in John uh, chapter 3, verses 51, he said, And he said unto him, Most assuredly, I say to you, hereafter you shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Folks, that was Jesus' words in the book of John, eerily similar to what you just saw in the book of Genesis. This wording, the angels of God's were were ascending and descending, is exactly the same as Jesus uses, uh, you see, in Genesis 28, uh, 12. And I believe this is no coincidence. This is another sign. This is what we have to look. Again, many times we've got to look at the forest and not the trees. Jesus must be referring to John 151 and this, uh, and this incident of Jacob's ladder. That's my, that's my theory and that's my speculation. The question is why? Expressively, I want to just look at this. Jesus says in John 1 that the angels will ascend and descend, not on the ladder as in Jacob's dream, but instead on the Son of Man. So what Jesus is saying here, I'm going to take you up to heaven. Jesus himself 
takes the place of the latter. In this description to Nathaniel in John chapter 1, what Jesus says is a very charming and it's pretty quaint language if you think about it. But this is what we see as Christians and his disciples we encounter. We encounter God in life-changing ways. And through him, Jesus himself is the key to life-changing experiences with God. I want to leave you with John chapter 14, verse 6, when it says this. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I want you to think about that because how do we get to the Father? The Father's in heaven. Who takes us there? Well, that would be Jesus. Jesus is the ladder to heaven and fellowship with God. This beautiful story of Jacob's ladder is indeed awesome, but something greater than a ladder is available to us, to me and you right now. And that is Jesus Christ himself, the Son of Man. Jesus Christ, he is the ladder. He is the ladder. He is this beautiful symbol of, of resolution. He reestablishes that beautiful relationship and of communication that we have with God. Jacob is able to communicate with God because the messengers pass. Aaron's a mercy. You know, Martin Luther once said, the dear angels take your prayers to heaven and bring back the answers. That's what Jesus does through the power of the Holy Spirit. This ladder was a means of communication between heaven and earth, and heaven and earth have been separated by sin, unfortunately. The Lord is above, and Jacob, the object of his mercy, is beneath it. The ladder points to God, but the ladder also points to the man who reunites heaven and earth. And as a great commentator, Matthew Henry, once said, we have no way of getting to heaven but by Christ. That would be Jesus. He would witness that true ladder and true communication from heaven, the true mediator between God and man. And as a believer, he would be part of that true Israel, that family of believers throughout history. That sign number four, that is sign number four and the sign of Jesus today. My question to you today is, do you have this ladder to heaven? That would be Jesus. It's not about religion, folks. It's about a relationship with Jesus Christ. And I'm going to invite you to have one today. It's really simple. Admit to him that you're a sinner. Believe that he indeed was the son of God. Believe that he, he had a life. He had a death. And on the third day, he was resurrected. And then what I want you to do is commit to him for eternity. That's how you have salvation. Believe that he is the son of God and died and was resurrected. And I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and also have a Go Bold Christmas. God bless you and Go Bold.